And it's interesting because a lot of people with their, their first experience with an A&R is usually like either bad or like, you know, there's like a reality check, but with you, um, it kind of worked in a way where you blew everybody away in the building to the point where people came in and started clapping for you. Maria, for those of you who don't know, I don't know if she ever told the story, but Maria sung for the a and <laughs> and people in the office were like, who the f- is that? <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I had forgotten about that moment until just yeah. now. Like- so, I mean, here we are thinking mm-hmm. at like, now I'm like, I think I was like 19 or whatever. You were like 17, 18. Yeah. And like, 17. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can imagine like at that age when like an A&R is telling you, oh, like you got it. Like when his office is clapping for you, like you start seeing, you start envisioning things. And it, it just kind of like looking back on it, it kind of sucks because not that we, we aren't successful and not that we know we shouldn't be proud of what we have done, but I just think the bill of goods that was sold to us at that time um, was just completely unfair to people that young, you know, to be kind of, yeah, you know sold that and then kind of just definitely without reason just kind of taking away taken away from yeah and I think that a lot of you know it's not talked about a lot this kind of topic and I'm really happy you brought that up because I think there are a lot of A&Rs that go out there and then go out of their way to recruit people and then there's lots of promises made and there's lots of this big talk about like things that are going to happen and it's like we were so young and naive you know and like but even you know just just the street smarts of us. And of course, you know, we're, we're both from New York, but just like, we always kind of did know in the back of our minds to like check ourselves. But you know what guys, at the end of the day, we're artists, we're creators, we're sensitive creatures. So we still have emotions and we still do want good things to happen. So it's, right. it's easier said than done to just like get over things kind of quickly like that, you know? Right. But what we realized was Ivan was the first of many people who, you know, had met, made it out like they really wanted to work with me. And then it's just like, you know, people, um, you meet all kinds of people in the industry and when they see you and they think you're a talent, they want to bite on you and they want to, you know, take grab a piece and all this stuff. But you're really lucky and fortunate if you find somebody who really wants to take the time to, to work with you and, and be really dedicated to you because it's just, it's a huge commitment. So <laughs> it's a, it's, it is a huge commitment. It's almost like finding a partner in life too, to be honest with you. I mean,